Hey YouTube, today I'm coming to you guys with an emotional post because something touched my soul. It really upset me because as a person who went through bullying in high school and college, actually I've been through, I've been bullied all my life. Um, in my case, it was biracial. Other women didn't like me. Other, let me say this, people say... You're supposed to be... Oh, you're black. Oops. Sorry, blur my camera out, y'all. People say that, oh, you're black and you're no different than the rest of us, but that's not how you're treated when you're biracial. But this isn't about me. Um, this little boy, now he was a black boy, and he was only... I can't remember, but he was really young, around 10 or 11. And he was bullied to the point that he killed himself and bullies told him to. I try not to cry because it's an unsettling feeling and I know at a young age you want to kill yourself. I was a little bit older, but geez, this is this young the kids that are killing themselves are getting younger and younger. And these schools are these schools are not being held responsible. You know, I'm going to say this. Locking the parent up won't teach whatever little evil demon that they brought life to, okay? You got to lock the little evil demon up. That's either not being raised properly or somebody's bullying them at home. Or maybe they're just a little evil, egotistical jerk that thinks everything should be there. Everyone and all the people they are worship and follow them. Okay? And then you gotta go to locking the people at the school up. When a kid commits suicide, and it's been, it can be proven that multiple times there have been multiple complaints, these people need to be backed down from their jobs. They need to be helped. They need to be charged with some type of, some type of, um, I forget what you call it, when you assist in a crime. But that it needs to be a part of a crime, and they need to be included as if they assist you. Okay? Um, because if these schools have no responsibility with this, let me tell you what these little bullies are going to go on to do. They're going to go out to be high school bullies and somebody in high school might kill themselves or might go to jail for beating the crap out of them. Because nobody checked their kids. Okay? Um, then they're going to go into college messing with somebody, possibly dealing with teachers and God knows what, and getting away with them to stop them on those students that actually want to get their work done and can't focus on people like them are causing the practice there, okay? Um, because teachers won't interfere. There are very few, and I'm going to tell you, there are more teachers that will get together and lie with the deans, principals, presidents, if you're in college, whatever else there is out there, any titles I didn't mention, okay? And then they're going to go on the job because they're grown, okay? I'm going to tell you this. Children bullies grow up to be adult bullies, and they work at these jobs and stuff now. They cause other people problems at work. These are the people that are harassing people at work. If they're never taught responsibility and never made to face the consequences, especially in situations when a little boy kills himself, they're just going to live on and think it's okay. Some of them might grow up. But let me tell you something. Any child, that's death. They are old enough to know what death is and what happens with death. And they are that evil to tell that boy to kill them, kill himself. And the school, who's been let know about the situation the whole time it's been going on, says that there was no evidence. Yeah, I bet there's no evidence. I bet you're going to mess with cameras. I bet. It should be a legal thing to where you have to keep all camera videos, no matter how old. Because in situations like this, scandals always happen and stuff always comes out years later. But it needs to come out now and something needs to be done. So 
that's my video on this subject. I don't think I can talk about this any further because this actually upsets me. I went to a point where I almost committed suicide and my mother told the security guards at school and the security guards were actually in on it with, you know, the, the kids at school, the high school I went to would pass the security guard drugs. They would drink with them. Some of the girls were sleeping with them. So regardless, if I reported people, I got in trouble still. I was made to look like I was a bad kid and I actually wasn't the bad kid. I was the kid that wouldn't tolerate no nonsense that I would speak up. That got tired of being bullied, but I still got in trouble. And my mother told the freaking security guards, like, I told you they were no good. You're talking to these people like they are friends. You can't trust these people. And these same people sat up there and they put it out there that I said I was going to kill myself. They themselves made fun of me. Hell, teachers called me names. Some teachers called me names that other kids called me and said that if people are saying it, that saying what they were the saying about me was true. So that's just an example of how, now I'm grown now. So if teachers were doing it back then, what do you think these people are doing to your kids? Any and everybody, if your child is saying that they want to hurt themselves, coming home complaining every day, please, from somebody who's been bullied, take it seriously. Do not blow it off. It is not like back in your day. Okay? These people are not going to grow up. They are not going to grow up and grow out of it. Even if some of them did grow up, they're still kids right now, and you can't wait. On the fact and hope that every year that you send your child to school in that same district. Fight the district back. Do what you have to do to get certain teachers removed. I'm going to tell you. My mother and I don't always get along. But I've seen. I'm going to tell you this. After my situation and she saw how I really started to change. I think that's what influenced her to get involved with both of my younger brother's situation. Which that I'm proud of her for doing. My mother getting involved and going toe to toe. Oh my God. I'm going to actually have to sit down and do an interview with my mother to tell you what she did to get these principles and stuff removed. The biggest example I could think of because a, a teacher cannot say that they don't like a parent. Because if you don't like a parent, then that proves that you're using that as your ammunition to go for the child and that's discrimination and that was elimination for that principle right there so but I'm actually going to do an interview with my mom because there are things you guys can do to fight to get these teachers and principals and superintendents out of there because they're the reason why they have favorite children, parents that bribe them, parents who have money that they can't afford. Get out of here. We don't care about the parents that have the money. They need to, those parents need to sit up there and be in court with those parents who bribe the colleges. Because those are probably the exact same type of people. Not saying everybody's like that, but come on now. If you'll bribe your kids elementary school or preschool, come on now. What else will you do? Bring in food, gifts. Come on now. Please, file complaints against these principals. File charges against these um, schools. Wh whoever it is, go over their head. And if they don't do right, file charges. Do not let these districts keep doing this stuff to your kids. Because what happened to me with my mental health, oh, it was broken. It was broken, it was messed up, and it took me years to fix myself. I even went to college, and I still had to learn to fix myself because I was harassed in college. Okay, so let me say this. But as for your kids, you do not want your kids dealing with this type of stress so freaking young. A college student, you're grown. You can learn how to get through this a little better. And I did. But a child, your child's mind is fragile. Please do not let your children go through this. I beg and I plead for anyone who's watching. Fight back. These schools are not going to do right by your kids. They're going to shush and give you those shove off, 
say a few words and say, okay, we'll handle it. And nothing will be done. And that kid will be like, seriously? And that other kid will be back punching your kid, saying what they want to your kid. Just any and everything. And they'll probably get more kids involved. And other kids that are intimidated are going to get involved because they don't want to be bullied. Or maybe some people just want to be cool, so they're just going to do it. Have a good day, people. Please take what I said into consideration. Your children deserve to grow up, okay? They don't deserve the abuse. And let them know that it's not their fault. But, yeah, something needs to be done about these bullying laws and needs to be pushed for. And that's that needs to be worked on. But it's a, it's a thought, you guys. I'm out.